This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. All right, welcome back. Jonathan Clark, uh, really psyched to be in the studio with uh, most of the Magpie Salute uh, in the band with us in the studio. We'll hold up the uh, new album. It's called High Water One, which indicates there could be a two. We'll get into that later. Uh, that is available August 10th. You can pre-order it now. The band playing tonight at Jones Beach and tomorrow night, Friday, at the PNC with Government Mule and the Avid Brothers and... Some new dates, September 7th, New York City, Sony Hall, and September 9th, uh, the space at Westbury in Westbury. So welcome, guys. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. So yeah, your yeah. prediction came true. The last time you were here, it's like, oh, yeah, we got a bunch of songs. We're going to go into the studio and make a record. And that wasn't that long ago, no. right? No. Yeah. We knew it. We were prophetic. You were you just holed up in uh, Nashville and and you banged out a new record, man, pretty yeah, quick. Exactly, oh. absolutely. Uh, it is Rich Robinson, Mark Ford, and John Hogg. This is so, Rich. That's uh, yeah, Mark. That's yeah. John. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, well, listen, I listened to this new album. Congratulations, man! You really hit a home run on this one. Thank you. Yeah. It is, um, and you don't get this very often. It's an album where you actually want to put take the vinyl, put it on put the stylus down, let it play through side one, flip it over, put it all the way through. It's got that sound to me. Uh, I don't know if it was, you know, the songs are great, but the sequencing really, really works well. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's got that, I don't know, dare I say, a mid-'70s warm sort of classic sort of sounding record. Uh, I yeah. mean, was that your sort of attitude just going in or? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think sequencing's fun, man, because you can totally shift – a whole record by moving placement of one song yeah you know, just how it flows but also we recorded 29 songs in 21 days wow so we went in and made two records beatlesque yeah you know so we have high water two coming out and we i didn't sequence either of them until everything was done and pretty much on the table right because you you kind of you got to feel where it's going to go you know and we and we had that understanding while we were making the record yeah know? Sequencing is interesting because it's almost like you're kind of making a movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you yeah. got the opening scene, you got the, you know, the yeah. uh, cliffhanger maybe at the end or whatever, That's you know? A, a set list too, you know? It's really cool. You, you, yeah. can, you can totally build a, a feel from everything you do. I'm a big fan of the pedal steel, by the or, way. Yeah, or mess one up too. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. Uh, the pedal steel on You Found Me. I love oh, yeah. that. Who played that? There's a friend of our, Mark and I's named Dan. He lives in LA. So uh, okay. And he's. He has a you know an interesting approach to the pedal steel. It's not necessarily traditional, but he has that element. It's one of my all-time favorite instruments in the world. But it's such a bitch to play. It's very I know. Like people you know? are from Mars that play pedal steels. I think they have. You know, I was having this conversation with somebody else the other day. But when somebody plays it well and they do it right, it the air changes oh, in the yeah, room. Absolutely. It's yeah. like oh my god, let that wave hit me. You know, like Larry Campbell. You know. Oh my god, yeah. so good. Uh, so this group of old friends and musicians uh, it must have been really inspiring for you guys to get in the studio. Did, did the, all these 29 songs just come really like quickly? Well, yeah. 21 days, but before that you had written a bunch, I We'd guess, right? We some stuff on tour. You know, we spent <clears throat> last year with, we had a 10-piece band last year, and it was a celebration, and that's how we approached it, you know. Uh, we celebrated the music we all made together and made separately and, you know, and covers we always wanted to do and covers we wanted to see if John could knock it out. <laughs> we were like, yeah, oh, yeah, John, how about this one? Right. Same 30 days in the hole after a five in the row. See how that goes. No, uh, no, but it was so, it was a lot of fun, and it was a celebration. It was almost like a review, you know. But yeah. as the tour went on, we knew this is where we want our focus to be. And so we decided to start thinking about making the record. And, yeah. You know, and so we started messing around at Soundcheck and came up with some cool stuff. And then in January, we got together, the three of us, and just, I, you know, my only suggestion was let's not take anything off the table. Yeah. Let's bring things, whatever you have. It doesn't matter if it's old or brand new or a part or not, you know. So we all just came in and sort of threw everything out on the table and picked through what worked, and we whittled it down to about 35, and then by the time we got into the studio, we stuck with about 29. Mark, I want to ask you a question. Pull that mic up a little bit, but I, I read a quote from the you, you that you said this is the best band you've been in ever. <laughs> yeah, collectively, as a whole. I yeah. Think, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, there's six people that have been doing it for a good part of the, most of their life. Yeah. And with any craft, hopefully you get better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, so, I mean, 
this natural thing that Rich and I have had is is extended to each member of the band. Yeah, you know, there's a language that we're all speaking, and it there's a, a confidence and an ease that's going on, and a right clarity and a purpose, and and you have that and, musical history too, going yeah, way back. There's a lot of life that that we get to pull from. You know, right, exactly. Stuff only we know, and and it, I think it's all in the music. And Rich, I was speaking to Mark when he first came in the studio. I said, uh, and I said, I said this to you before that that live album you did the first time I heard it, I didn't know it was live. Oh yeah, because it was so. It, I know it was recorded in a studio and everything with a live audience, but like the song ended, and then I heard all this applause. I'm like, wait, that's a live album? That sounds like a studio album. But that album is on repeat, by the way, on my phone. I can't oh, stop great. listening to it. It sounds that's so. Really cool. And this new album will be shortly. Uh, you mentioned cover uh, songs before. Uh, on that live album, the first live album you did last year, you cover Pink Floyd's Fearless. And um, so tell me, what is, a, what is it like to experience Dark Side of the Mule? <laughs> we'll see tonight. We haven't heard oh, it yet. Oh, you haven't heard it yet. No, okay, no, no, yeah, yeah. It's the first night, yeah. So they're going to so do Dark Side of the Moon, Government Mule. and Yeah, I get, well, I guess they're going to play a lot of Pink Floyd songs, so I'm not quite sure. Right. I mean, Warren had talked to me and, and us about maybe getting up and playing couple of songs so we'll right. see how that goes that sounds awesome yeah. uh, i was looking at the set list from your show so far heavy on the new album uh definitely some black crow songs in there and also again some really cool covers by by bands you wouldn't expect necessarily uh james brown yeah i think you've been doing a james brown cover on which some one? of the sets which one? i don't even know i i just saw it we were uh, doing uh no it's been we did an otis song otis Redding, right and then temptations um, i think you did a temptation m- song maybe yeah, yeah. A, a version of the temptation yeah song. yeah which is cool and then we've done like this great band song called Look Out Cleveland. We're doing a, a Blind Faith song, Had to Cry Today. Yeah. And, oh, God. Uh, that's so yeah, great. So old new track. Yeah. yeah. A really old Who song, I Don't Mind, which is great. Yeah. Like it's, it's cool to hear the Who like that. Yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah. Well, you brought the guitars, you brought the voices. Uh, how about yeah. a live song? Sure. Sounds Tell us good. about this one and then just go for it. This is one of the, this is the, the title track. It's called High Water. Um, and it's, this is a part I had for a long time. I, and I just never finished it. Right. And so we, you know, brought it to the studio and worked it out, and it, and it turned out to be great. Awesome.
You can keep going. It's okay. <laughs> Which I'm sure you will do tonight at Jones Beach. Uh, the Magpie Salute is the band with uh, Rich, Mark, and John. And uh, the new album, High Water One, it comes out uh, August 10th, but you can pre-order it now. Uh, by all means, go see them tonight. Get the new record. Get, see them tomorrow night at the PNC. And a couple uh, more local shows, Friday, September 7th, Sony Hall, and then Sunday, September 9th at the Space at Westbury. Really good, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks That's for an, having us. Yeah, absolutely. Send Me an Omen is a song I've been playing on the show. Uh, what can you tell us about this one? We'll play it off the album. I thought... You know, Send Me an Omen is cool. It's it's kind of a amalgamation of of the record. I th I like how it's just, you know, there's some some of this. You know, Mark and Sven and I obviously have a strong history with the Crows or whatever. But then you bring John into the mix, and what his sort of influence on what we do is different. And what Joe Magistro coming in and playing and just a night and day drummer from our old drummer in the Crows. And then we have Matt Slocum who just <coughs> came off the tour with John McLaughlin and. Oh you my know, God! All last year, so wow. what all of these sort of converging influences and contexts that come into this band? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like that all came to 
like a really strong fruition in that. Song. And even in the song that you just played, you you have that that history, that that classic sound from the Crows. Obviously, with you two guys, but he makes it fresh. Yeah, he makes it fresher. It's exactly. still a brand new song, but yeah. and that's what I can say about the whole record. It's yeah, just absolutely. really really fantastic, uh, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much for stopping by. Uh, break a leg tonight. Play some Floyd tonight and tomorrow <laughs> night, and uh, have a good time. Come back here anytime, Excellent. guys. Excellent. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043.